Goldilocks has nothing on this wood-dwelling mother who raised an orphaned wild bear alongside her children. Velga Vitola loves animals with all her heart, even going so far as to raise a motherless bear cub in her own house alongside her two children. That was too much animal love for some of her fellow Latvians. Velga Vitola made a home for the abandoned bear cub named Ilzit in her shack in dense Latvian woodland, where it played with her children, joined in on family walks, and even slept in the 55-year-old's bed. Hikers wend their way along the Ligatni Nature Trails, a forest on the banks of the Gauja, Latvia's longest river, to take in the fresh air and the beautiful scenery. The woods are home to about 50 captive animals, including birds, squirrels, wild boars, elk, and brown bears. Many of them have suffered some kind of injury and were brought to this park sanctuary by the locals who found them. And though Latvia boasts five zoos, it has no official rehabilitation centers where wild animals can be cared for after being hit by a car or hurt by farming machinery. Instead, it has Velga Vitola. Dubbed the mother of all animals by her fellow Latvians, the 56-year-old has worked in Lagatni for more than three decades. She was inspired by her father, a teacher, who gave lectures on environmental protection in schools when she was growing up. He instilled all this love of nature in me during my childhood, Vitola says, and he bought books about Joy Adamson and Gerald Durrell, about these animal lovers and their life. I read these books and decided I wanted to have a similar life. It's the bears that are closest to Vitola's heart. In the mid-1990s, three cubs born in Riga Zoo were brought to Lagatni and placed in Vitola's care. One of the bears, named Madi, gave birth to her first cub a few years later. But Madi refused to nurture her newborn, and Vitola realized that if she didn't take action, the cub would die. I started to care for the cub just hours after the birth, and the cub weighed just about half a kilo, one pound, she recalls. A cub usually spends two or three months, from winter to spring, with his mother. So if I begin nurturing the cub, then I have to behave like the bear mother. Vitola named the cub Ilzit and showered it with attention. The baby bear required warmth, so it lived inside Vitola's home. I never take any unnecessary risks, and I never put my children's health and life in danger either, Vitola says. The cub grew up alongside her then nine-year-old son and 11-year-old daughter. At home, we played with the bear and we went for walks with it in the forest. The cub didn't leave a single scar on my children because I taught them how to treat the animal, she says. Eventually, she built a special outdoor enclosure near the forest for Ilzit. When it's feeding time, Vitola enters an empty cage near Ilzit's enclosure. She prepares a meal of salmon, fruits, vegetables, and dried foods while the bear waits nearby. Once the food's ready, Vitola leaves the cage and lets the bear in. Ilzit digs in and gobbles up the meal. Afterwards, Vitola strokes and kisses the bear's nose through the metal gratings, and Ilzit licks her hand. Vitola explains that the 12-year-old bear, back then, still needs physical contact with her mother. I'm the only one who can do what I'm doing now, and I'm the only person who has such a relationship with the bear. I've nurtured her since she was the size of my palm. The passionate animal lover said her family regard the wild bear as a sibling, adding, I raised three children, a son, a daughter, and a bear. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Ilzit thrived with the Vitola family, developing a strong bond with Velga in particular. She loves to give me, her mom, a kiss. Any other human would lose their head if they tried it. We just love each other, she added. Miss Vitola suspects her beloved Ilzit has grown up believing it is a human being rather than a bear. Once she saw her reflection in the window, it sounded like thunder she was growling so loudly because she thought she looked like me, her mom, she said. Ilzit is not the only unusual pet Miss Vitola has made a home for. Her menagerie of wild creatures has included everything from hedgehogs to an elk named Freddy during her 22 years of living in the woods. Once I woke up because a pair of wild geese were in my bedroom, she said. And the kind-hearted 55-year-old brushes off suggestions her living situation is anything other than ideal. 
When I considered moving here, my mom said, are you crazy? She said that I would die there, but I told her I didn't care. This is the place of my happiest moments. All of those moments are about animals. I feel like this is my place in the world, she added. Ilzit the bear has grown so big that he lived outside the home, but still regularly accompanies its mother on her walks through the forest. Once we both went for a walk along the wild boar's enclosure. She was only one year old at the time and was afraid of them, Ms. Vitola said. She clung to my legs and started to growl at them. She felt safe because her mum was there. I told her, you crazy bear, I will be the first to run. I need those moments, the bear kisses and hugs to feel happy and free. People can be two-faced, but when an animal looks at you, he is only himself. We can learn a lot from them. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.